Okay, so I'm making this video so I don't forget how I figured out to make peer review assignments. So I like to assign um, lab reports to get reviewed by, uh, essentially each person would review two people. So the way I set this up um, this semester is you have to go into a content area in Brightspace and then click on use the existing activities tab and scroll down to where it says turn it in MVC. And then this window pops up. Okay, so you would title it, you decide how much the draft item is worth. So for my classes, it's 10 points for the draft. You've got to assign the start date to submit the draft and the due date to submit the draft. And then you've got to pick a feedback release date. This would be after the peer review period is done. And then you want to click enable peer mark. There are optional settings. Um, I don't recommend allow late submissions because that makes it really difficult to assign the peer review automatically. Um, but if you wanted to exclude anything that comes up commonly, you can. You can even upload templates if they're all going to use similar formatting. But then you just scroll to the bottom once you get your settings and you click Submit. Then you have to go back. In this case, I didn't title it anything, so it comes up with a funny link. But you would, you would want to go back into here. And you'll see this turn it in um, menu system. So you want to click peer mark and peer mark setup. And this is where you would be setting up the instructions for the peer review part. So I like to give an equal amount of points for my introduction as I do for the peer review process. Um, and so you would want the review date to begin when the either after the introduction or rather after the draft is due. So for example, I have a class Tuesday that meets um, and their due date on the draft is Tuesday at two o'clock. I don't set up the students can review date until after Tuesday at two o'clock. Okay, that helps make sure that it automatically assigns people to do peer reviews that are available. And then you want to set your date for when the review is to be completed. And then after that date, you'll, you'll want to make it available for the students to see the feedback. You can put in your instructions here as well. Um, the suggestions on the internet for this tool are not to award maximum points on review. Um, I don't know why yet, but if I figure that out, I'll report back. Um, I like to keep it anonymous in this. I warn students if they want to be anonymous, they can't have a cover page with their name on the report when they upload it. So, but if you keep it at no, then it won't tell the reviewer who the, who the author was. Um, I typically do choose to let students who didn't submit a draft review it and might help them to start their draft. And I like to have each person complete two reviews. This helps ensure that people who submitted a review will get feedback um, because if you do a one-to-one -one system, I find that the students may not get feedback from other students if um, somebody just decides not to participate. Uh, you could let people choose a number of papers that they can pick on their own if they wanted to. I don't usually allow them to review their own paper. I use other mechanisms to do that. But once you have all your settings the way you want, you'd click Save. Also, um, you can click peer mark questions, and these are questions that will appear during the peer review process. I have made a few of my own, but they have, uh, which you can save as a library. So I have a uh, assignment called Silver Solder, and it will just allow me to select the same questions each time. So I can throw those in there, or you can write new questions, or you can um, look at an uh, example library as well. Once that's all finished, um, they'll be able to come in and complete their peer reviews 
submit the introduction, draft, whatever you call it, um, submit their draft, then after the due date for that, complete their peer review. And after the due date for the peer review, they should be able to see the feedback from their peers.